My father, you know, he wanted to be good at you know the basics, and so that's why he called the store Square One. So my dad was a mechanic. Um, he was self-taught. Everything he did was always around cars. So he um, ran his first station. It was a triple bay service station. And then he started selling fuel. He was always a Gil Barco customer, always. And when he made an investment in something, he expected it to last and expected it to perform well. And I remember being terrified to walk across the, uh, the islands because there was so much traffic and just so much going on. I don't remember the first time I was in one of his stores, but I do remember one time when I went in to grab a water and I dropped it on the floor. <laughs> the store manager at the time that was working was very upset, <laughs> was not very kind to me. Um, she had no idea who I was, nor should it have mattered at the time, but uh, I'm not sure that she was with us much longer after that. <laughs> I come in once a week and I teach ballet to pretty much all the students at the studio. I wanted to be a dance therapist. I wanted to help people through movement and uh, because it's been so helpful for me. I have my bachelor's of arts in dance and psychology. I found myself running a mental health program. The philosophy behind it was around how vocation is important. Um, it's a defining factor in who we are as people. I started conversations with my dad in this very building. He was talking about his managers and their growth and development, and I just started shooting off ideas. I was like, why don't you do this, and why don't you do that? And uh, he said, well, why don't you just come and do it for me? <laughs> January 4th of 2004 was my first day. Um, I remember one day we had just reopened this site and I didn't answer my phone. You know, kept yelling at me for not answering his phone. And I was like, Dad, you never answer your phone. And he's like, you know what? He's like, you're fired. <laughs> And I just continued my work day because I had a responsibility to my team. That was the only time I got fired. But yeah, I mean, you know, we, we bumped heads a lot. I just recently spent some time, uh, you know, talking about uh, family history and Almost every single person on my dad's side uh, passed away very young. My father passed away at 63, he would have been 64 the following day. So I lost my mom in, in 2016. I watched my parents kind of go through life and not do things because they couldn't um, from a physical health standpoint. And you know, I want to be able to ride my bike with my kid, go climb a mountain if that's what he wants to do. It really drives me to just kind of do better and, and, and live a healthier lifestyle. My dad was tough. You know, he, he taught me how to punch, uh, you know, when, when I was six years old. And it's important to fail. It's important to figure out how you navigate around that. It's always a good time. But if we don't always get everything perfect, it's better than marriage counseling. <laughs> And I feel like it, it parallels a lot with being in, in the convenience industry in that not everything we do is, is going to be successful right off the bat. But you know, you have to start somewhere and I feel like you have to be willing to, to drop as many things as you actually pick up. Very tired, but energized. And my dad spent a lot of time when we were children working and, and building his business. And my sister joined the company a year after I did and, and for us it's great to continue that legacy.